And this is a very long level. I got a long one here for you guys, because I like you. Finished yet? Quick, pick up the sword and enter through the portal. What's up, everybody? Badass Games. Welcome back to King Arthur Project. Today we're in a level called Avalon. And this is supposed to be the last level of the game, um, but we have some surprises up ahead of us. Uh, we have collected all the secrets, we have done everything that this game has to offer up to this point. So we will see just what we get as a reward. Okay, so Avalon, yes, we are in this area now. We're, in, we're pretty high up, so uh, I recommend not falling off unless you want to kill Lara. That's cool with you, me. I, I do whatever you want to do. Um, but me, I'm gonna try not to fall off, but, um, let's go through here, and we got, it's not very large here, okay, it's very small, just kind of open area, um, not too much to do, and one of the things that we do gotta do, though, is, if you've noticed, right above Lara's head, there is a cherub statue kind of just up in the air. Well, what we gotta do to get that thing is we need to grab our flint lock and blow a round into the uh, stat the stanchion that it's on. Okay, so right there. And it will fall to the ground and we'll be able to claim it. So, um, just run over to the thing, grab it, and then let's continue through this level a little bit. Now, I'm gonna take you around this whole place because it's so small, there's really not much to do. It is kind of nice and uh, really just not much to do, like I said, just kind of four corners is all there really is to it <laughs> but then there's a lot up above too so we gotta get we'll see what's gonna happen when we get up there okay so the next area is cat -a corner to where I started I was over there now I just pretty much went cat -a corner and um, if you look up in the tree right here you'll notice that there's another cherub statue just kind of hanging in there well what we gotta do to get that is we gotta use this platform right here we can move this this is a movable box we're gonna move this underneath it hop up onto it and pick the thing up just that simple guys so the uh... it's really really cool because like it's actually at the exact point where you need to be or in order to pick it up from the um... top of this platform so simply moving this into place is good enough we gotta I think move it one more time to the left and then we'll be good to go just gotta push underneath that thing and the job is done let's top up here and let's just walk onto it just like we're picking up anything else grab that thing and we're done all right so um, time to start going vertical and wow she just ran through a tree that's Wow, unbelievable. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta go and we gotta find this cherub statue. Now we can't grab it. The idea isn't that we gotta grab the thing. Uh, the idea is that we need to place the cherub statues into the receptacle here, okay? Uh, there's no other items besides these two things, by the way. Um, except for a little bit later, we'll see one last item um, for this whole thing here. Alright, let's go ahead and throw some cherub statues on some pedestals. And what this is doing is it's actually spawning these two platforms behind me. We got this one, and we got that one. And now we can begin our ascent to the top here. There's nothing else in this area, or at least I couldn't find anything. So, uh, just continue on up. Up and up and up. So this is a, a kind of a long, winded part, really just... Seriously, just going vertical, um, doing some jumps, just getting higher and higher. Our goal is that huge platform up there. So, that is the goal here, people. That's what we're going to be working toward. So there's really not much else to do. Um, been a really good game, don't you think? Like, this game has been uh, super fun. It's been vis visually stunning. A uh, really amazing game in overall. So, uh, let's go ahead and make our way over to um, these other places. And we can look down at, <laughs> at what we've accomplished here. Um, yeah, the, the developers of this game really put some time into it. Um, 
overall, I think it was it was a really good game. There's some spots where I'm like, oh man, this is tough. Like the bridge was a really tough level because of all the special jumps you need to be able to do. But uh, yeah, over, for the most part, uh, I still recommend it. Even if you're kind of new, maybe you can give it a shot. Some of the hard jumps makes you a better player, right? So, yep. Um, whoops, I don't want to walk back. I want to do a run and jump here. Now, if you notice, Lara has the sword on her back, and, uh, of course, we did pick up the sword in the last, uh, level. It's called Excalibur, and she has, I guess she can choose ammo, which she got two types of unknown magic materia. Not sure what that's all about. They're both the same thing, no difference. Um, at least nothing that I can tell. So, let's go ahead and, uh, we gotta get up to this thing. And we're gonna be using this as a weapon. <laughs> Um, it's pretty awesome what they uh, what they've done to the Excalibur. I wonder if King Arthur actually used the sword the same way, because that would have been uh, pretty badass of him, to be honest. All right, still making our way. You can see the uh, the castle over there in the distance too. It's really awesome. Really cool. Uh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, I really wouldn't. Don't have much to say here, just kind of uh, hopping on some platforms, trying to keep you from being completely bored. Uh, even though uh, I may be falling flat on that, who knows. Um, hmm, was there something over here? No, I was going to say, <laughs> why didn't I just jump over here? Well, probably because it's too far. I don't think I could have made that jump, but... Alright, let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. Up and up and up. That's the goal here. We're getting close, though, and uh, I may want to save my game, you know, because... Um, the further we go, the uh, more trouble we might put ourselves into, right? You know what I'm saying? Alright, finally, something to do. So I can't actually make the ledge from here. I have to pull this back. <laughs> About the most uh, complicated thing in this whole climbing business, of course. Some of the jumps are pretty, um, you know, strict. You gotta do them a certain way. But you have to move that in order to jump up here. So if you're having a hard time getting up here, that is what you need to do. Let's do a run and jump over to this thing. And we're gonna get there soon, guys. Gonna get there soon. But yeah, I think um, I think that this game was pretty awesome. I've seen a lot of really good tier leads during my time playing Explosions. Um, this one still is up there pretty high. And we get this camera angle. You can't look cancel, but if you look up in the air, you'll see Lara's legs dangling there. Just to let you know that, hey, you made it or you didn't. Just pull up and eventually show the camera will shift for you. Kind of annoying, one of those forced camera angles. Alright, and then let's finally do a run and jump over to the platform. Hopefully make it, right? And then here we go, let's go ahead and save this thing. And then we gotta fight this huge guy right here, and uh, basically, you can't use your weapons against him if you notice. Oh, I just caught myself on fire, that's, well, that's something you can notice too. Let's reload the game here. And, uh, you can't use your weapons, try not to catch yourself on fire by jumping through them, but you can see your weapons, apparently what, yeah, I think what they're trying to show you here is your weapons, they get caught on fire and then they blow up and die, so, what you have to do in order to, to fight is you need to select Excalibur from your, um, your menu, and I'm wondering if I can actually use Merlin's magic staff, probably not, but we can give it a shot, why not. Um, and then we can use Excalibur. You see here? Oh, it didn't work very well, so I would not recommend using uh, Merlin's Magic Staff. Alright, so I'm doing some damage with the Excalibur, uh, assuming that I actually land the hits. But, um, of course, just he's, he's the same as the Tomb Raider 4 gold guy with the gem in his chest. Okay, so the, the idea here is to just jump around, try to get him close. He runs a lot faster than them, so he can close the distance to you a lot faster, so hopping backwards does not work. Plus, the perimeter is covered by fire. If you touch the perimeter, you you could caught on fire. And not to mention, you're high up in the air anyway, so if you fall, well, you'll probably die. So, <laughs> yeah, good luck. I got rid of his shield, I'm sitting here. Basically, the tactic I'm trying to use here is a side flip, jump forward, turn around, do a back flip, do a side flip. Jump forward, turn around, shoot him in the chest a couple times, do a couple backflips. Hopefully that uh, gets me the distance I need. It's really uh, almost a little difficult to execute, but um, hopefully he doesn't land a hit on me. Because I'm trying, I'm trying not to use a med pack during this, which is actually quite difficult. 
you'd be surprised, uh, especially when you see what, what's coming up, okay? To defeat this guy, it's not hard, but there is three phases to this fight, and this is the first one, so... Yeah, it's not easy, so if you're trying to do a no med pack version of this game, uh, I recommend not dying to this guy or getting hit at all, because it is possible. Alright, and so with that out of the way, we're gonna see that there's, uh, this guy up in the air. And we're gonna get- we gotta- we gotta fight him. <laughs> he essentially is what's coming down to it. Um, and then this cherub, this flame cherub spawns. He's gonna come at us. Not on top- not only that, there's fire that's gonna spawn around us. So this is what makes it difficult to use a med pack, is the fact that you gotta- well, actually, this part's easy as long as you don't get hit. Okay, don't get hit by the fire, you'll be fine. So we go ahead and save this game out, and, uh, we got just do damage to this guy while he doesn't- don't let him touch you, and also keep your eye on that flame that's in the distance. Because that flame will catch you on fire, and if it catches you on fire, well, game over, right? We should know that from experience. Oh, it's coming right for me. Alright, so we also gotta watch out for the edge still during this phase of the fight. Keep eye on that fire in the distance. And fortunately, this fight doesn't last very long. We don't actually have to do all the damage. Let me get out of here because I need to see that flame in the distance. There it is right there. Just avoid it. I'm gonna go toward the end of it. Oh, he's dead. Okay, great. So, he's dead. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game now. And I'm going to climb up here. Uh, so the goal now is to ex- uh, um... Sorry, what's the word? Ascend. <laughs> the goal is to ascend to the, uh, to the other guy up in the air. And, uh, the, the answer is not obvious what you need to do from there. So I'll be sure to show you, um, what you need to do. So, once again, climbing up high, and, uh, remember to save your game often during this fight. There's a lot of things that can kill you instantly. I mean, even falling, of course, you should know by now. Falling is bad in Tomb Raider, especially when you're up high. Alright? I mean, guess falling not all the time is bad, but in this case, it is extremely bad. You I mean, you fall, you're, this, you're trying to go up. First of all, you go down, so you, you reverse your progress. Second of all, you break your neck. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and save the game and show you what you need to do here. So the answer is not obvious. So there's the guy up there in the air. Wait, I'm already as high as I can get. What's going to happen, right? Well, nothing. It'll, this will stay like this forever until you take Excalibur out. You look in his general direction using the look key and fire Excalibur. And then from there, you'll see the screen start shaking and it's time to actually go down. So good luck. This part is not easy uh, to do because you have to do some pretty tricky jumps, and as you can see, I missed myself, so... Um, you have to make your way down, so... Alright, so, trying to do that. Uh, can I make it to here? Nope, let's try again. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, failing hard, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, do this again. Trying to make myself lined up here. Run and jump over to this guy. All right, there we go. Uh, you have to do a running, standing, or I'm sorry, half tower run and jump over to this guy. I'm trying my best um, to get down here. Okay, I should get toward the end of these uh, tiles because that's gonna happen. Let's try again because we don't want to take any damage during this if we're going for no med pack run. So uh, we need to be more vigilant here in our run and jumps to uh, make sure that we can have room for another run and jump to the next tile. And so I just gotta land toward the end of these tiles just to make sure that I got enough room. Oh no, I think I overshot. Yes. And I took a lot of damage. So, um, yeah, good luck. I'm, d I'm just gonna keep trying this over and over until I get down there without actually taking any damage. That's the idea for, at least for me. I mean, depending on what you want to do, just use a med pack if you don't want to do this challenge. And, of course, I fail. So, anyway, uh, I'll keep doing this until I get the right answer, and then I'll show it to you guys, and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, looks like I made it down to the bottom without taking damage. I'm gonna go ahead and save my game, and, uh... Great, now we gotta fight this guy, and this is what makes it so hard, is because he's constantly barraging you with, uh... Um, missiles, while you're trying to avoid fire. 
And uh, the missiles are what does the majority of damage to you. It's not the actual fire you have to worry about. It's really trying to avoid his shots if you're trying not to use a med pack. So good luck to you. I'm going to try to do my best. Um, I haven't actually successfully done this without using a med pack yet, so this could be the first time that I get it. Just trying to avoid his shots, trying to kite him around a little bit. Uh, avoiding the fire. Looks like I'm gonna get hit here. Second. Oh gosh, I'm taking a lot of damage. The idea is to have more percentage life than him, but uh, that's not always the easiest thing to do. I guess running and jumping is uh, really a good key here, but um, you also have to be mindful of the fire. You have to be mindful of when he's gonna attack you. So yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, and I run through some fire, of course. So let's try to reload and we'll try again. Um, I'm probably going to try to save uh, periodically here, um, only to try to actually do this without using my pack. Yeah, it's sort of cheap, but um, really difficult to do, guys, I'm telling you. Just good luck to you if you try it. And there we go, I finally did it. I did not use the med pack, and that is going to be uh, the end of that fight. Uh, we're not done with this level yet, and you still gotta watch out for that fire, otherwise it will kill you. So uh, when you get done, they'll give you a large med pack here, and now we gotta get off this platform safely, of course. Let's go ahead and save the game. Uh, I'm pretty stoked that I wasn't able to, that I was able to get through that without using a med pack. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'll definitely um, show you guys how I did that. Oh, did I kill myself? Yeah, I did. Okay, so good thing I saved. <laughs> But, uh, I saved here. So the idea is that we can get down safely. You can, I think you might even be able to go the long way, maybe, but there's water down below. So we need to find that water, and then we need to find the ledge that we can hang from and fall safely into this water. All the way down and into safety. There we go. So now we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and get through this. Um, we gotta go find the exit here. So let's do this and find this thing and go through it. Hey, come here. All right, and uh, Merlin's going to get all bossy on us again, so let's go over there and teach him a lesson. He says to come here, and it's like, okay, well, I guess you want a piece of this. Uh, so let's go down there. The hard part's getting down there safely, right? I mean, I don't have a whole lot of health, so we got to make sure we get down um, without losing too much life. And uh, I can't remember exactly how to get down, so... <laughs> Uh, I should have practiced this part. I actually did not ever do this without using a med pack, so having uh, such little life is going to make this a little more difficult than I uh, anticipated. Um, so give me a moment while I try to figure this out, and I'll let you know exactly how I decide to get down. Let's see, fall onto this. I guess that's not safe enough, it seems. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. This is fine. Oh, that's not fine. Let's try again. Did I say I did not even save after Avalon, so I guess I'll see you guys back at the spot. Hey, come here. Alright, so here I am, I'm back, and I've gotta go appease Merlin here by going over to him. Um I figured out how I'm gonna do it. Um oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's not the right way. Let me try again, I'll be right back. 
once again, back to Bossy Merlin. Oh my goodness, uh, I should save my game too, I don't have to worry about him telling me what to do. Alright, so this time let's do a run and jump over this thing, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go all the way across here, and I'm gonna do the little, uh, the trick where you, um, hop off backwards and grab and let go. I believe that is going to be the easiest way to do this, so I'm gonna stand at this edge, jump back, let go, grab, but I'm not gonna actually grab the ledge. This is gonna put me down a, a notch, so that way I can, um, hopefully safely get down to the next level, but, um, looks like the, the safest way would be to hop over to this thing first, and then make a run and jump over into this blue section. Veering over to this thing, and then here we go. This is gonna take us down and right next to Merlin. There we go. What's up, Merlin? Quick, put the sword into this rock. This will release the magic barrier around the castle, and you will be able to escape. What about you? Don't worry about me. I'm just a protection of the past, as the whole castle is. You shouldn't be here either. This was just an illusion made by Morgana, who thought she'd be able to enter your present through it. But your magic was too powerful for her. You'd be a great magician in our time. Thank you. No time to chat. Alright, so now we gotta play uh, Sword in the Stone here, except it's gonna be the reverse of that. We'll take Excalibur and shove it into this thing. Escape quickly before everything within the castle disappears. The magic barrier is broken. Oh gosh. So, uh, yeah, we really caused some issues, didn't we? We really, uh, tore some stuff up. That's okay. We're gonna get out of here, and that's gonna be the end of all this stuff anyways, right? So, let's just, uh, make our way. The idea is that we gotta go in, go back out the, the way we came without dying, of course. We don't wanna get smashed by the freaking ceiling. All right, um, I'll see you guys back at the spot. Escape quickly before everything within the castle disappears. The magic barrier is broken. All right, guys, I'm back here at the spot. I just got done uh, destroying the rock with Excalibur. Well, not really, but uh, now I'm making my way out of here. Hopefully, I don't get smashed in the face with the ceiling again. That was pretty unfortunate, right? Well, maybe not for you guys, but for me it was. I'm going to hug the left side here and try to make it out here. Now, uh, of course... It it seems like we're timed, but really we're not. We just gotta avoid the ceiling as it falls. Uh, try to just avoid it. And, um, yeah, make our way out of here is essentially what we gotta do. Uh, there, it's not timed, so we're good. Just be careful. Watch out for the ceiling, okay? Uh, it's hard to see where it's gonna fall sometimes, so... Try to find the V there. Hop through it. Hop through the V. Um, then right here I kinda die all the freaking time because of ceilings and stuff. So we avoided it. I avoided it this time. Hopefully I can avoid it all the, all the way out of here. Let's do a sprint. Maybe that'll save me. There we go. Hey, I made it! And, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of Avalon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Badass Games. Take it easy.